de Dieu sur eux par sa grandeur pour lui. Monica. After the bouquet of flowers being presented and the pictures being taken, Okay, can we now move for introduction? Let me ask uh, our Father in the Lord here, in our young sticks, Pastor Ayo Afolabi, to do the introduction of camp members who are already uh, lined up. Praise the Lord. Central Committee Secretary Kai Gumashan. Then Reverend Colonel Joy Oyelade, Vice Vice Chairman the Pastor Abolade. Then we have Reverend Dr. Remy Akeni Olaye, another Central Working Committee members. Zona leaders are all here. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. By the grace of God, you are well prepared for a crusade. And the crusade can by the grace of God be counted. And God will take control. Amen. Welcome, sir. Welcome, man. Thank you. Our Father and the Lord will now move up to take uh, the salute. So please, let's clear this place, please. under the authority of Christ and only what Christ has commanded that will he do if we have not brought ourselves in absolute surrender in total submission to the Christ of our salvation the captain of our salvation we have not become soldiers of Christ for I I'm a man under authority, having soldiers under me, having soldiers not above me, but under me. When we're soldiers of Christ, we come under Christ. We don't go above Christ and do whatever we want and impose our will 
our desires, our depravity, impose that on Christ. Christ, that's all I can do. That's who I am. You want to receive me? You want to have me? Take me as I am. He took you as you were, as a sinner. And he converted you. And when you become converted, when you become transformed, you're now a child of God. And you do not remain as you were. So, I am a sinner. And I'm always a sinner. Take me as I am. No. You come under authority. My character, I know, is defiling, is depraved. But Christ, take me as I No, He doesn't take you as you are. He transforms you to what you ought to be. And that's the thing we need to understand. We do not impose our defilement on Christ and on Christianity and on the church. We do not impose our depravity, our self-will on Christ and on the church. We do not impose our bad character on Christ, on the church, and on the community. But we leave all our past and now we come under authority. And we now have, we are now soldiers and we have the mindset of a soldier under authority. Have been soldiers under me. And I say to this, go. And he does not argue, he goes. That's a soldier. A soldier of Jesus Christ, he reads the word, he does it. He hears the word, he obeys it. He says, he hears this, the way, what he therein, and he does that. And he does that immediately, a soldier. And he does that promptly, a soldier. And he does that wholeheartedly, a soldier. And he does that with all his heart and with all his mind. He doesn't have an alternative because he has not become a soldier under Christ. And I say to this man, go and he goeth. There is no other consideration. Should I? Should I not? Should I consult another Lord, another master, another human being that's not a soldier? And then he says unto another, come, and he cometh. And they do not uh, kind of vacillate. They do not delay. They do not drag. They do not argue. These are soldiers of Christ. And their consecration is a consecration to obedience, whatever the master, my Lord, whatever he commands. And then he says, I say to my servant, the servant is the soldier. The soldier is the servant. Do this. And he doeth it. And he doeth it. You see that word do it? He keeps on doing it until I change the command. Until I change the commission. And he doesn't say, at this time now, my status shall have been changed. Soldier of Christ doesn't think like that. By this time now, my responsibility should have changed. Doesn't he see my level? Doesn't he see my state of health? Doesn't he see the way I am at this time? Okay, if he's not changing it, I'll change it myself. Uh -uh. A soldier does not do that. They should have recalled me from the battlefield. They should have recalled me from that assignment. I say to my servant, as a person under authority, and I have soldiers under me, and they are under my authority, do this, and he doeth it. We're looking at um, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, I'm reading from verse 6. Acts chapter 9, verse 6, and he trembling and astonished said, Lord, that changed Saul to Paul. That changed a curious man to a man 
of integrity and a righteous man to a man of righteousness. The Lord, you know the story that, that uh, you know, that Saul was going on the way to Damascus. He was going to persecute the church, the members of the church. And the Lord confronted him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? This conference Who is, is that Lord? We are ministers so, and you have not answered the question why? And why persecutest thou me? Sinners do not have an answer, an answer to that question. Paul Saul didn't have an answer to that question. Many times we cannot give an acceptable answer. To the things we do. Why? Why are you forget permitting that sin? TKC, Why the are you doing evil? Why are you, you being curious? Why are you a dangerous pigeon in community? Why? Why are you destroying lives? Why are you getting drunk? Many times we don't have answers to the questions that come from heaven. Now, global missions. Paul we are pleased to announce the authority mission program of the voice you was hearing. This who program offers a life-changing opportunity Lord. to experience first on the transformative whom thou persecuted. It's a hard thing for you to give against the freaks. You know, so stars. here on earth stars is hard to kick against this program the freaks. Is to In our the children future, and in eternity, it's going to be harder or bearable talent, that you are kicking to impact the bridge. There is a future. There so is a consequence for anything and everything that we do. Everything sold you made his life harder. The way of the transgressor is hard. And the stage of the transgressor in eternity is going to be much harder. And now he trembling and astonished said, Lord, he turned around. He called him Lord. The Sanhedrin had been his Lord. The masters in Jewish religion had been his Lord. And he'll get papers from them, authorization from them to go and do evil. Right there at that point, a change came. A transformation came. He now said, You are my Lord. What wilt thou have me to do? He turned his heart to the Lord, Lord his life to the Lord, his future everywhere. to the Lord. He came under authority. If you're going to be useful in the kingdom like Saul, Paul was useful, you have to turn your life unto the Lord as Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise. He arose a different man, a changed man, a convicted, converted man, a commissioned man. Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what You're thou. Healed. Look at You're that word. It's not what thou You're set may free. do. You're what God thou shalt do. Lord, what thou may like to everywhere. do. What thou Jesus must do. Do you, as a soldier under authority, I may do this, that's not a soldier. I like to do this, that's do not a soldier. If I like, I may. If I don't God like, I may not. That's not a soldier. What thou must do. We know God his story. He continued until the very last breath, doing what thou must do. You. Consecration of the Son to being a soldier of Christ. Look at number three here. Number three here, we're looking at the commitment of soldiers in selflessness to Christ. When we talk of selflessness, Jesus, that's the, the opposite of self centeredness. You see, self centeredness, that's the life of everyone without Christ. Self aggrandizement. You know, self happen 
upliftment. If they don't put me there, the I'll put glory myself of God. there. If they don't know my value, well, I see. know my value. I will deal what I will deal. And the uh, people that impose themselves on the church, in on the Jesus community, mighty and they name will do anything. Even Somebody exterminate that, lives, amen. take lives away. If those people you stand know Jesus Christ, in their way, the that's the worker. opposite of selflessness, yes. self-management. And because self you were talking of promotion. somebody who had gone and dead. self, um, you this. know, propagating yes. people that the, you just know self this. lives on the inside, One achieve and, and alive, driving them, making them to do things Jesus that will hurt that and scatter and destroy all the people. But that's resurrection power. They are self-centered now. People if we're going to be soldiers of Christ, and if we're going to be used of Christ, but that thing inside GCK. propelling GCK. us, GCK. that thing inside dominating our yes. life, that thing that inside that the makes us to just us. move on, but you know what? push people, Jesus push Christ people said, down, trample on them, on the grave, even on kill the them. Destroy them so that we can get to where we have the vision of Absalom that we want to get to. Don't I tell you, if you believe you see the glory of God, we cannot be soldiers of Christ and we cannot be part of the end time army that will do exploits for the Lord. But the self centeredness is replaced with the resurrection alive. Is ear pressing. He will do it again. Mustachi. He it will says, do it again. I can yes. of my own you know, self Jesus Christ said to the man, Come the out Lord of from the grave. And, and what happened? Master, what happened? The Messiah, the dead the man, rotting, stinking, came forth. For us, and he that was dead came forth. Bound hands and foot with nothing. Grave clothes. If they, and his face was bound about with a nothing. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Where should I Lose go? Him what should I and let him go? And what there will be freedom. Should I concentrate on he never yes, asked anything Jesus, of his soul the miracle. self. We are going to break and you rest up your hand. Straight for your hand. And say tonight. Tonight, tonight, restoration power. Restoration power. He will raise all those who are dead. He will raise the dead. He will bring to life those things that the enemy has destroyed. Yes, he will do it again. Call upon the Lord and take it to prayer. That there will be restoration power. There will be restoration power. There will be hope for the whole place. Yes, restoration power. Wonder again. Jesus will do it again. Yes. And when you get freedom, information leaders, good information, right information the enemy, leader, he will liberate, the he will set Whatever them free. I hear now, yes, this is the night, this is the night. That's yes, not, he will do mighty, mighty things. Then we come not back to, to life. Then of Jesus we come Christ. back to As life. I hear, I Those judge, are forgotten. And my judgment the is just because the enemy has I death. seek not you know, my own uh, they are, they are destined the them to, the to, to hopelessness. Of Jesus they are going to hear the voice the of the mighty Messiah, the mighty God, the El Shaddai, and great will be the miracle. They will come back to life. They will come back to life. I'm not going to yes. go to that same battlefield. I say the in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let me tell you, you just have to quickly call right now. It, it might be as a result of the past GCK or the present, the one we started yesterday, because the Lord is at work doing miracles, signs and wonders. And the yes, child of God. yes, you this time you will be giving the people the chance to share your testimony. You are among the testifiers that you have to gotten, you have received miracles, and my own you have will, such the will testimony the to share wherever you are. Can you wave, up? Can you wave your hand? Six, You've gotten miracles, and uh, you have 
from the heaven, testimony. not with you human want own now, will. Just that's walk, if we're following move Christ, that's how to like be army soldiers of, the Lord. of Christ. And move but to the front the by my left hand, by my left hand, me. under in the John white canopy, eight, with white shields under it. it tells now, us you move there, to the front right there. Go there, go there now. Jesus become it, become it, become it. Don't waste time, don't waste time. They are waiting for you there. For you the there. Son and all of man. Region of the and shall the group know pastor, that I you move to that he, same place right now. I yes, those testifiers move to that place. Yes, I, I want to tell you, somebody there, I you will be a man the testifier to now. I touch Your miracle nothing. will come. I Jesus Christ nothing. walking Says and he told Peter he was what has never been, as my been the experience of Peter was me, what happened that day and uh, he said if you are the one Jesus God, you can tell me God to begin to walk on the sea and touched, Peter step on the water and, and begin to walk yes miracle thing you never you never thought of will happen in your life the exhortation you are going to pray. of the father and there are people you are who going to pray right now and say all and over they the do world not need right from this thing no, any direction now your they are so of wonder and so your hands of miracle but your hands of signs and wonder to every participant every participant of this these things of this crusade can you call upon the Lord miracle and he will do it again he that me is with me the father has not left me alone for i do always not sometimes i do always not occasionally i do always and it's an example for soldiers in christ good soldiers in christ that whatever we do we're always in touch with the captain of our salvation what does he want me to do? Where does he want me to go? What does he want me to say? Uh, something comes up, and uh, you know, there are hey, people Jesus uh, that might say something pray. now. That's how Moses felt. From tonight, you become the unconquerable. Israel said, What are we going to drink? And all yes, that. Yes, listen to and this. The Lord but said, Take care. You uh, go uh, uh, there. Oh, my baby, you're back. Just eh, speak a to the road, and the water uh, eh, will come say, out. You know, when we are angry, we eh, lose say, ourselves. When yes, we are angry, we lose our senses. When we are angry, we lose the proper eh, direction. Eh, when we are angry, we lose eh, our calling. When we are angry, we lose 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 our calling. Because the water came out, they do not think of the striking in of the rock. Because water came out, they think of the striking of the rock. Because if you need a proof of my action, you look at the result received by miracles. Many will say unto me in that so, day, I want to ask you, boy, you're not going to be able to see me. And I will say unto them, when it will be too late to repair, praise the Lord. I know you not. Sons and wonders shall follow you. Of iniquity. Sons and wonders shall follow you. The background of the miracle. I say, sons and wonders shall follow you. The miracle, the propelling power of the miracle. Everybody says declaration. Many people lose themselves and they lose their destiny. You will declare. You say in the name of Jesus. Let there be signs and wonders everywhere tonight. Everywhere tonight. What should I speak? In what direction should I go? But Jesus said, For I do always those things that please him. We're looking at Philippians chapter 2, and I'm reading here from verse 5. Philippians chapter 2, reading from verse 5. Let this might be in you. Hey, what man. Kind of mind? The mind yes, of yes, Christ no. and the mind Say of the I Son am. of God that will Our not Lord see Jesus, or do or go any direction miracle. except 
everywhere. The captain yes, of our because you have spoiled principalities and power. Him. Let this you cry all over them openly. It was also Father, these days, all Jesus. over the That's world, we the are there connecting the with this GCK, our vocations. Let them be silent in the name of Jesus. Point there's number no doubt about it. Your servant. You have anointed it. Your soldiers, you have raised him with mighty and miraculous anointing. Uh -huh. Yes. Our this tongue. night, the much more than we have ever seen, great success and wonder shall be wrought in the name of Jesus. And so that we are Everyone will be partakers of Christ. All Lord, we the thank you because that you have done. Spirit in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are this very part number one. Number one is yeah, the powerlessness and the burial of untamed souls in Christ. There are souls the that are untamed. They just come as they were at birth. If you are here they tonight for like the divine that, miracle for the Lord, they brought into Shout this world, God, Lord, the depravity, the deception, the lying, the hypocrisy, and the sinfulness, they just continue like that. There's no coaching up, there is no pruning, there is no taming, they are untamed souls. Untamed souls to without God control. Number two, in the poaching and the power of tamed servants for the commission. For the commission so is giving us a commission, and we need to serve the Lord, fulfilling that commission. The poaching and the power of tamed servants in his commission. Number three, in the purpose and the profit of team people, stewards for Christ. The stewards for Christ. The people who understand, I am here to do what has commanded. I am here to do what he is watching over. I am here to do what he would have been doing if he were in the world today. The purpose and the profit of Jesus, Jesus, for Christ. Let's look at number one. Number one is the powerlessness and the burial of the souls without control. When it comes to being on the slow and the break is not functional. And the break is not effective. And it just going and going and going without control. The driver is sitting in at the seat. But then, because there is no control, there is burial. There is danger. And the is not only the days of the driver, but the passengers in the bed of the powerlessness and the burial of untamed souls. It tells us in James chapter 3, a meaning from verse 5, even so the tongue is a little member and boasted great things. Behold, a great matter in little fire kindling. And I think if we were to say that Jesus, you are one, if you are not gotten in trouble by the tongue, and nobody will raise up your hands because since we are born, our tongues are tossed into the ground. There was no master, there was no master, there was no direct soul. Our tongues got tossed into the ground. And again, verse 6, verse 6 tells us, and the tongue is a fire. It's a word of iniquity. The tongue is a word of iniquity. So in the tongue, among the members, that it defiles the whole body and sets fire the cause of nature, and it is set on the fire of hell. The world members is very simple. Hell, the 
many people oh, the children have died the time died the many people the children have scattered their family There are many subordinates that have lost the possibility of climbing up the ladder in their company for their tongue. We lose a lot, a lot of our tongues. And at last, the people that lose their lives because of their tongue. In some 12, a meaningful number of children. Some 12 of children. They speak for each and every one with his neighbor, with flattering leaves and with a double hatch. They speak, they speak on the sides of the mouth. They must tell you something now, 10 minutes ago. They are forgotten the time. You come to them now. They speak another thing, another lie that contradicts the other lie because they are not conscious. Just talk and talk and talk. It says these are people with flat tree leaves and with a double heart. The speak look at verse 3. It says in verse 3, the Lord shall cut off all flat tree leaves of sun.
that man of God, the Lord Almighty, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word. Hear the word. And they have said in the community, this must be a possession. Now, all of you now go to churches next Sunday and preach this. The prophets of the Lord, the prophets of the Bible, the the preachers of the Word of God, they didn't get their messages like that. will be available for the people that are here and the grace will bring transformation in the lives of the people. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, but when I speak with thee, I will not fall by When I speak with thee, you will hear, you will store it in your heart, you will meditate it in your heart, and you will know me. Of that word you heard from me. And when I speak with you like that, I will hold the house and thou shalt say unto them, The same is my Lord, the Lord, he that heareth, let him hear. And he that heareth, let him hear. I will to speak the word of the Lord, the grace for the people, for the hearer, to be obedient so they can be saved, obedient so they can be sanctified, obedient so that they can be transformed and live new lives by the power of the word that comes to them and can be Shaking when the bridge and the sick go to hear. Now, the shaking, anybody can shake himself. Whether you're praying or you're not praying, anybody can go to the But when they are praying, it's not the people that were shaking, the place was shaking. I tell you, either they're praying in the synagogue, or they're praying in the prison, Paul and Silas prayed. And when they prayed, it was the Lord that was shaking. It was the Silas that was shaking. The foundation of the prison was shaking. That takes force from heaven. That takes power from heaven. And then he says, and they were all healed with the Holy Ghost. And they speak the Lord. But what? Look at Versace 3. In Versace 3, and with great power, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace even was upon them. The grace was not to make them continue in their weakness. The grace was to make them now minister in the grace was not given to excuse their sin. <laughs> French, you are telling me a lie. Are you telling a lie by the grace of God? Anybody can tell lies. It doesn't take grace to tell lies. It doesn't take grace to fight. 
It doesn't take grace to commit adultery. It doesn't take grace to commit fornication. All those things people do without so grace. But when the grace of God comes, so that grace of God turns our life Heavenly around Father, we thank for the better. You for and that grace thank will come you for to you today. Thank you for all the it says with great grace power, was upon with my miracle we move in our midst yesterday. Today, Lord, do greater things in Jesus' us name. In Jesus name. As look we want to do, Lord, here, I think I'm very three, great, Lord. Looking meet at the every heart and the prophet meet in Jesus' of name. Stewards, Bless everyone. In a Save souls. Stewards, deliver souls. In Christ, Thank you, Heavenly Father. In, in Jesus' Christ. name, we and we're pray. looking at uh, Acts Amen. chapter 26. Let's we're reading to from verse 16. Oh, happy day. <coughs> chapter 26, oh, verse 16. Oh, happy day that fixed but my choice. Oh, dear my Savior. Oh my God, well may this green heart rejoice it is and tell the structures abroad. The commandments this of done, the Lord great transaction done, and the Lord and He is mine. He do me and I follow up. Sham to paralyzed. confess the voice of divine. Paralyzed. Now rest and my young in the red heart. Peace on this blissful center rest. You couldn't walk, no, and you couldn't do Lord anything depart. with him, boldness and courage High because your inner mind was paralyzed but now, but now renewed, when the creator of the heaven the and the earth when he commands you rise and stand so upon thy feet happy Your day path. happy day when Jesus washed my will. sins away he For taught me how to I wash and pray and live with blessing every day Happy day, happy day, purpose. when Jesus I washed my sins away. Me. The Lord never appears to anyone for nothing in vain. If he appears to us, he does something in our lives that had not been done before his appearing unto us. And when you come in a meeting of friends, training like chance for you to have the appearance of the Lord upon you. It will appear upon you. It will touch your ministry. It will touch your life. Then you'll be able to rise upon your feet. Your feet. You'll not rise and stand upon the feet of other people. The people who cannot stand upon their feet and they need the help of other people, the feet of other people to stand. But from today, you will be able to rise. You will be able to stand upon your feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make you be a minister and a witness both of the things which thou hast seen. When Jesus rose, there are many things we have seen since we became ministers of the grace of God, of the goodness of God, of godliness, of the power in the heart of a man that makes him a minister was his son. But when Jesus sees and sees, Of the things which thou hast seen, I will teach the Lord of precision. And whatever they hear, if they have not had it before, if they have not put that in their curriculum before, if they have never preached anything like that before, and whatever the fresh Whatever, whatever revelation they are exposed to, and whatever power may be available for them, only what they have seen before. That's what they continue me. And I'm not talking about you know, people who are not, you know, in my category. I'm talking about people, some people I keep my life. And if there is something that you need to have in the early years of their Christian calling. Whatever they hear today, they're not going to you know, give it to that. They say, this is what I mean, as it was, it is, and so it shall forever be. They're not open to the new power, revival. 
revival that will lift them up and make them go forward and do something in a higher, greater, wider than they have ever done before. But God, and if Jesus told God that you will be a witness of those things that I have seen and of those things in the future will appear until they look at verse 17. In verse 17, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto Now I send thee. Now I send thee. Look at verse 18. As he was saying to them, what was he going to do? To open the eyes, to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan upon God and the people that hear us and the people that want to know us they will say through you unto us well that is Christ the Savior the Christ the Christ the Savior Christ the Commander and Christ the one that commissions us to open your eyes to the truth of Scripture that's exactly what Paul did that's what he wanted to do and to turn them from darkness to light that the people that hear you they mean in darkness they want the dark as to their destiny in the dark as to the power that can walk in them and transform their lives and then for you now to turn them from darkness unto light Hallelujah. and from, from the power say, of Satan unto God. And Welcome there are people the that are totally under the power of, GCK, of Satan. Jesus, your presence the there, your worker. voice is there. He and I know them, he, he clamps on them, he the darkens their mind, he darkens the their thoughts, he spoils and ruins their Jesus lives. But now we are sent unto them that we will turn them from the power this worship is holy. Praise him. Lift up his voice. That Shall we pray? Let's glorify his holy name. Forgiveness he has done of sins. Well. See, people tell come him, to tell listen him to and us worship as tell him ministers. In my life, and you have done they keep all coming, well. they keep coming, they keep coming. You have coming done all things well. Great, in the nation, you have done all things well. The in the ministry, you have done all things well. Let's the assurance of their sins forgiven, of the freedom that is given unto them to live in newness of life. What have we done? What have we done? An inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith. In and inheritance name we pray. among them which are sanctified by faith. What God is saying is there is inheritance like landed property to give an example. And there are people that can rent house, can rent landed property, but it's not theirs. They do not inherit that. And the Lord wants to move us from just hearing about sanctification, about inheriting the earth, about inheriting what belongs to the entire sanctification and what belongs to sincere, deep hearted sanctification. Not just that we're hearing, not just that we're fellowshipping with the people that believe in sanctification, but we have inheritance, to make great possession among them which are sanctified by faith that is the economic down to this Lord accomplish in every life. In first John chapter three, reading from verse eight. First John chapter three from verse eight. It tells us never the economic fundamentals. Never what they are talking about the macroeconomic for the devil seen from the beginning. For Raising these the bubbles, the Son of the God of was manifested for these bubbles. The Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the, the works of the God. devil. Number one, God. work of the Release devil, people making God from, people you know, sin. Number one, work of the devil, making evil each the forbidden fruit. Number one, work of the devil, making evil pass on that forbidden fruit to her husband. 
Iran. Now, the Number one work this of the, the devil, the king in Europe. To all kill the places where the economy is so Number one work of the devil, the king Achan, to steal that wage of gold and that you know Babylonian garment. Number one work of the devil, the king did it to look at Bathsheba and commit sin with her, impregnate her, and kill the husband. Number one work of the devil, the king Solomon, to leave the throne where he was to degrade himself to have so open your mouth open your mouth many the Lord is going to feel it so in all the places and concubines and building shrines for them number one word of the devil making the leaders of the traditional church the Sanhedrin to so whose cries and to heal Christ and to reject the salvation that he brought. Now, when God graces you up, all those works of the devil for this purpose, the Son of God. God was manifested that the, the, the he might destroy the, the works of, of the devil. Amen. Amen. You will not have any stomach for the work of the devil. You will not have, have, any, devil. Devil. You have, you have any tolerance, devil. Have any tolerance for the work of the devil. You will not have any sympathy for the work of the devil because you have a purpose for your calling. And it is this purpose that you Line up, link up with the purpose of Christ. And everywhere you find, anywhere you discover, anywhere you detect, anywhere you see the work of the devil, the work of Satan, it will be your calling, following after Christ to have all that destroyed. If in Minister, Jesus' preach, name we pray. pray. And do everything we're now, doing. Uh, and the works of the devil the are never destroyed. Or wasting uh, our, our life, our resources, in those places. Like those that are at the threat of death. They are threatened by the prospect of death because of their sin. And we minister to them. And they remain in their sin. And in their sickness, sickness is the work of the devil. Satanic attack, affliction is the work of the devil. And here is the purpose of the Lord that he might destroy the works of the devil. And when we're chosen by him and called by him and commissioned by him, it will be our number one job to do what Christ will have done if he were here on earth to destroy the works of the devil. Pray. In Look at John Jesus chapter 18, reading from verse 37. John 18, verse 37. He says, uh, you know, Pilate uh, therefore said unto him, and I don't think then Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king to this age. That for the this reason, of the of the to this purpose of our was I in this born, GCK, and for this cause came I into the world that should, I should Talk bear the Lord witness in prayer. Say, unto day. the truth. Let's pray for our that Father in the Lord God who anointed that the goal, them. Supernatural. That the what is not seen before. For which what we are called, what Christ was called to do, that he will bear witness unto the truth, the truth of salvation, the truth the truth of the scripture, the truth of sanctification and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord to be a witness without fear, without fretting, and without intimidation to be a witness unto the truth. And everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. Amen. We are coming now to point number three. Three. Those Point number the three truth, is the translation the for the of saints of the to the summit by Christ's anointing. Translation, translation, to translate us from the low level we are to the high level, the summit that he has called us to, the translation 
saints to the summit by Christ's anointing. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5. That are in attendance. In Hebrews 11, verse 5, by faith, so Enoch was said, translated so that he should not see death, and he was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that pleased God. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, this but is without the faith, place. it's this impossible to please blessing. him. This is their For he that cometh to God must believe, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them the of that diligently seek him. Pray. That the translation upon your holy name of saints to the summit for the nations affected by Christ's anointing. Thirty things we're looking at. One, the, 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 the peerless translation of saints above earthly expectations. Number two, the promised transportation of his soldiers beyond earlier exploits. Number three, the prophesied transformation of his son. Everybody, everywhere connected with this crusade, shout hallelujah! Peerless translation mm. of you can make it better. I said, everybody, everywhere. At the other location here, you see all the over the world, about and Enoch, you are connected with this crusade. The expectation shout for hallelujah. everyone is that. Everyone will die. That you are here that present was given or connected with three. this crusade and on this second day, it is Genesis well with you already. Five. And the Did you say amen? It is that well with you already die. in Jesus' name. Even if he name. was righteous, even yeah, if he was holy, Jesus name. even if he was a no, real says, intimate believer with God, that she will die. That but well, because of the faith he had, of and because honor. of the goodness of Especially God in his life, in the world. he was translated the convener of GCK, who also is the general superintendent of the deeper life, Christian life ministry worldwide, a child of are uh, their father as in the Lord? Son, as a Yesterday, he didn't God. welcome him. As a he just minister, suddenly appeared before us and he began to preach. But today Watch it's going to be different. Double honor. We dare not make it single. Double honor. Think, dear father, if you, have got to you are this welcome, sir. Level, Thank you very much, sir. I love you with you more, sir. You are welcome, sir. Above uh, daddy is not here alone. God I beloved mommy. Mother in, in the Lord, she is also time. here. Mommy, you are welcome, man. In your the Lord continues to be with you and to strengthen your hand as you walk with her Father in the Lord in Jesus' name. Of that saint of God, we may see that please. Earthly expectations. Look at we have some dignitaries here, chapter one, especially from, Sachina, from the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Osho State, and the, the PFN, that's the Pentecostal of Fellowship of Nigeria, and Osho has State. Translated us uh, they've been into very, the very helpful. They have stood by us, son. and we're actually in this now, program together. And that's why, even before many of us. Got here. Some of them are already seated everyone, here, waiting for us to come. Minister, long, long, long before five o'clock. Be we appreciate you all, sir. And uh, among those who are here are one form or the other. And Delis, if you go to tell Peter, somebody and you say, okay, they, who is the I'm a preacher. PFN and assistant last night, crusade director. Where is he please? Me on the bed and I couldn't even oh, shout. Thank I you very much. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Yeah. The fellow will look we have Reverend Awonati here what too, the PFN director of protocols. Them too, He's here too. To you are welcome in Jesus' in name. Fact, that thing Bishop Dr. Them. Michael and Deborah Mendy, assistant secretary of PFN Osho State. Where are you, sir? 
Okay, you are welcome. Yo, you are welcome in Jesus' said, name. You know, I preach and I planted and I did and, uh, everything. I it's also the coordinator of the Zira Priest of Shasta. Everything I've got, I've put it into uh, when that ministry. But you know, us, everything uh, has gone down have the drain. I the understanding of that. And uh, now we also have a can leaders. Yeah, please, uh, can you please rise and up and uh, let's welcome to, you. See, can leaders that are here and the PFL leaders too. You are welcome in Jesus' name. The Lord be with you. Not happen to me. Praise the Lord. I said it will not happen I to said, me. Praise the Lord. There is a translation. And just before we continue with the program, we want to remind going that above every and beyond at at the this expectations in Jesus' Yesterday, name. and those who, by the oh, grace of God, the will yield their lives unto the Lord. There is and you make it personal a banquet for yourself, prepared. Who we call it lunch hour with the Lord Jesus Christ. And it comes up by 3 p.m. every day of this crusade. And it holds in one of the halls within this premises. We just on my own left hand side. Just to us, go up your own right hand side. Feet, 3 p.m. And please, our counselors should help the young converts to be there in time. Much blessings are with them there. And they will be richly blessed as they participate there in Jesus' name. Because he has delivered me and please, uh, from for those, the power uh, of darkness. Uh, for those who do not for understand yourself, English language very well. Uh, please listen to this. Yoruba audience, let me to tell those who may not understand it. Yoruba audience is located of his from dear son the camp the of, of his the dear trees son, there, Satan behind the trees behind us here. Authority. There, just look at that tree behind Satan there. We have the Yoruba audience seated somewhere there. there. And Igbo the language is located son, at the extreme right side when facing the poverty. altar. Come when you face the altar, the extreme right hand side over there, there is your please at the Igbo. Audience, you please move to that place. Likewise, the Gede language, in those who want to hear all that is going on in the they there are is no directly behind the congregation opposite the other area here. So please, the Gede people, just go behind the congregation over there. You will meet others there. And the Lord will richly bless you in Jesus' name. What I didn't want to do, it is not me that some ATM cards were found. If you look your ATM cards, please. In the uh, kingdom please of the kingdom, just ask for the information center Christ, and the go there power and God you will dwells have in the heart of the man, in the heart of the woman. To you there. You will give we you want the to peace. appreciate that uh, Professor Welcome Isaiah. To and to your who is the dean of the School of Postgraduate Studies, Alcorn University, Ayobon Lagos. He's here with us too. Please rise up. Let's, you are welcome in Jesus' name. And uh, you yourself, already I told you it is well with you. Again, I say you are welcome in Jesus' name. You know this night, because it's already well with you, you will not go home empty-handed. You didn't say amen. You will not go empty-handed away from this place tonight. Let's put Get ready. The blessing of in the all Lord these are showered upon you in Jesus' name. More than the conqueror through him that loves Join us in singing with joy to our great King Jesus Where is as he? we present to you choir illustrations from regions, states, Amen. and nations across the globe. When heaven says amen, nobody can say When king at number two, number two, there's a promised translation of his soldiers beyond earlier exploits, earlier exploits, earlier exploits. No earlier exploits, I say them in two ways. Number one, earlier exploits of the people that went before us. If you think about the Bible, there are exploits done by the prophets and the preachers that went before us. Like Paul, like Peter, like John, like Moses, Joshua. Those were the earlier people and the had earlier exploits. And if you think on top of our land here, you've heard of Apostle, Apostle Babala. He came before us and he did exploits before us. And all those exploits, look at what he's saying. Promised transportation of the soldiers beyond what the people of the past did were going to do. Beyond 
and your exploit in your life in Jesus' name. If you believe it, it will happen. If you expect it, it will happen. If you pray for it, it will happen. And there are exploits of others that were before us. Now, the second part of the earlier exploits is the earlier exploits that you have done by the grace of God in the spirit of the Lord. If you look at your ministry for many for many years, have you been in ministry now? And you can say that's an exploit that was done in 19 such and such, in 20 such and such. Now, you are going to go higher than what you have done in the past. Look at John chapter 12, chapter 14, verse 12. Very, very, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall also do. And greater works than he shall he do, greater works, greater works, greater works than the works of fire. That's what Jesus said. That's what he said about you. That's what he said about me. He said, if we believe on him, it's a word that he shall be to you because I go unto my father. He says in verse 13, verse 13, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that when I do, for and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Look at verse 14. In verse 14, if she shall ask, if he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. You'll be challenged with when I was three years of age, I asked Papa Mama for toys. You became seven, you are asking for the same toys. You became 17, you're still asking for the same toys. You became 14, and you're still asking for the same toys. Something is wrong with our prayer. Our prayer, the way we prayed 40 years ago, exactly the same words were come, we still asking for toys. And the same prayer we prayed 30 years ago, we came for coming to the Lord, we still asking for toys. Now change your prayer. Make the prayer go higher. Make your request go higher. Make your demand go higher. Let's leave all those toys to those who are just getting born again. Get you in the kingdom of God. And now we're asking for things at the level of Jesus, at the level of Joshua, at the level of him, at the level of Christ our Lord, at the level of Paul the Apostle, at the level of Peter, at the level of those heroes of faith. And if he shall ask anything in my name, Step down, keep on moving up. Keep on going up. Keep on praying in faith. Keep on your expectation. And keep on up to a higher ground. That higher ground you will reach. Jesus. Eventually, Christ will come. And while you exploit here, you will reach you to heavenly elevation. in uh, Philippians chapter 3 and I'm reading from verse 24 our conversation is in heaven from ways also we look for the 
the Savior. Come on, we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at verse 21. He says, We shall change our fire that it may be for fashion like unto his glorious body and according to what we have seen. Him want to subdue all things himself. Sometimes this world and troubles I find so hard yeah. to bear. I know you could I not make it Lord, without Jesus being there. So and they would you know change our earthly body, our vile body, and we will change Jesus it to be like unto his body. And we will go all in the rapture. I in a tree cleaner of an eye at the last so trump can I do the trumpet shall the sound and the dead shall be raised in no one so fat no mysteries it's all so good and dry and you will be changed first Thessalonians chapter 4 I'm reading from verse 14 for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so also the name which lead in Jesus will God bring what he was fitting, he was fitting for this was saying unto you by the word of the Lord that we which have died, he shall not of the angel and with the drop of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Verse 17 in verse 17 and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up to declare his glory among the heathen in the clouds it's wonders to reach among the Lord in all the people and so shall since the inception of the gck the there was never a day forever was that the, Lord. the wonders of the forever lord were not declared the lord. and even so today now in time we have some the testimonies lord. in the lord of the wonders of in the lord word. That in the his Lord service, God had in his wonderfully done in his, in presence, his people's life. In his power, so we're going to listen to his righteousness this evening. And now, at that time, rapture. The dead in Christ shall rise. And we which are alive, like you, like me, like us, will be caught up together with them. And so shall we ever, forever be with the Lord. I will be there. When the saints go marching in, will be there in Jesus' name. A public health physician. I said, will be there. Somebody who is here. I saw and confirmed it before. Praise the Lord. The Lord Himself. Jesus. I want to glorify the name of the Lord for what He did for my husband at the Enugu Global Crusade. I remember so the last day of the Tell global the crusade, Lord, pastor prophesied that go for need. that interview and you will succeed. So he was to write a for promotional exam the following day. So he went for that exam and to God be the glory, he passed the, the exam and he was promoted to a position that it would have taken him like six or seven years to get to that position. I really want to bless the name of the Lord for what God has done for us. And I say, no, his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And I also want to testify to God's glory for what he did for me at the last of righteousness. 
Uh, I actually, I can't really remember when the problem started. So I just noticed that after moving right on a short distance, it will look as if my heart cannot carry me. And I will be so weak. I want to glorify the name of the Lord. The Lord touched me at the last global crusade. Any and I want to say I no longer feel habit. it again. I'm now normal. I say may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And you will no longer feel it in Jesus' name. Everybody, the clapping was too low. You should do it better. Praise the Lord. Your life, your heart. The Lord touches every area of our lives. So you should get ready to see the Lord will the touch Lord. you. We have a second presenter. Tell him to forgive you. And tell him to give you grace. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Freedom. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Brother David C. Joshua. I'm privileged to share this testimony once again with the people of the Lord. I had once shared it on Shawa's, uh, last GCK, November 2021. Our I was a powerless, weak sons. I have been battling with this embarrassing problem, urinary problem, for past 20 years. I have visited us to soldiers in to Christ. Reduce my carbohydrate intake. Able to stand. To able to arise. If I pay you a visit, my friend, you don't need any prophet to on tell you that this one is having a problem. Because I'll be visiting the toilet regularly. I hardly enjoy my food. It's so embarrassing. Empowered. But on a faithful day, Jesus said, November 2021, showers of blessings in your life. As usual, Yenina. our father in law was praying. He said, Place your hand upon where you have a problem and raise one cup. I did. I placed my hand upon my head and I raised my Living right hand up. But when he made mention you that has funerary problem, I immediately dropped my hand no to my lower abdomen. I didn't felt anything. I no tried back to my village. On that faithful day, my brethren, for the no first time, control. I wake up in the morning. I didn't wake up just once. When I wake up in the morning, it's no like somebody the tapped me. Of the Satan. Is done. Look at you. you no are, more are than the control like of baby. I went to my pastor, Pastor John Edo. He will be watching me live in Ubogi Edo State now. They will be shouting to the name of the Lord as they are watching me. I want to tell you the problem we was New I have to go to our equator at uh, Okada to share the testimony. I really appreciate the New Lord strength. because God is working mightily through our Father in the Lord. And I want to tell New you, my purpose. brother and sister that are sitting there, God will visit you tonight in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, the doctor New wants purity. to make a comment on that. Thank you very All much. All my grace. He actually had uh, what medically we call the power diabetes insipidus. Uh, he has been having polyuria, and the laboratory test did not even confirm that the sugar level was high. So obviously, this was a miracle. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever the, the name of that disease that you have in your body before this evening, the don't worry. The name of Jesus is higher. The name the of Jesus is greater, and in the name of Jesus, it will disappear. Just already, it's well with you that you are here, control. and at the point of your need, the Lord will meet you in Jesus' name. While we get ready for the Alpha Location says, Choir to go, come up, we go. please listen very well to this. By the grace of God, tomorrow morning, seven a.m., when He says, "Come," all our youths, all our youths. We'll be gathering together for Impact says, Academy. Up, you're up. And it's going to be very different this time around. It's going to be greater this time around. And so all of you that are using, where are you? Are you not happy? God speak, bless you real good in speak. Jesus' name. It's your day tomorrow. Steps. Let him punch you. Punch your tongue. Punch your lips. Punch your conversation. Punch your temper. 
temper. Let you take that out. Tanga, you become a stranger in your life. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,